Before we start our topic today, please smash the like button and subscribe to help the channel grow. What is cybersecurity? Cybersecurity is the protection of internet connected systems such as hardware, software, and data from cyber threats. The practice is used by individuals and enterprises to protect against unauthorized access to data centers and other computerized systems. A strong cybersecurity strategy can provide a good security posture against malicious attacks designed to access, alter, delete, destroy or extort an organization's or user's systems and sensitive data. Cybersecurity is also instrumental in preventing attacks that aim to disable or disrupt a system's or device's operations. Why is cybersecurity important? With an increasing number of users, devices and programs in the modern enterprise, combined with the increased deluge of data much of which is sensitive or confidential the importance of cybersecurity continues to grow. The growing volume and sophistication of cyber attackers and attack techniques compound the problem even further. Cybersecurity is the practice of defending computers, servers, mobile devices, electronic systems, networks, and data from malicious attacks. It's also known as information technology security or electronic information security. The term applies in a variety of contexts, from business to mobile computing, and can be divided into a few common categories. Network security is the practice of securing a computer network from intruders, whether targeted attackers or opportunistic malware. Application security focuses on keeping software and devices free of threats. A compromised application could provide, provide access to the data it's designed to protect. Successful security begins in the design stage, well before a program or device is deployed. Information security protects the integrity and privacy of data, both in storage and in transit. Operational security includes the processes and decisions for handling and protecting data assets. The permissions users have when accessing a network and the procedures that determine how and where data may be stored or shared all fall under this umbrella. Disaster recovery and business continuity define how an organization responds to a cybersecurity incident or any other event that causes the loss of operations or data. Disaster recovery policies dictate how the organization restores its operations and information to return to the same operating capacity as before the event. Business continuity is the plan the organization falls back on while trying to operate without certain resources. End-user education addresses the most unpredictable cybersecurity factor, people. Anyone can accidentally introduce a virus to an otherwise secure system by failing to follow good security practices. Teaching users to delete suspicious email attachments, not plug in unidentified USB drives, and various other important lessons is vital for the security of any organization. The scale of the cyber threat. The global cyber threat continues to evolve at a rapid pace, with a rising number of data breaches each year. A report by Risk-Based Security revealed that a shocking 7.9 billion records have been exposed by data breaches in the first nine months of 2019 alone. This figure is more than double, 112%, the number of records exposed in the same period in 2018. Medical services, retailers and public entities ex experience the most breaches, with malicious criminals responsible for most incidents. Some of these sectors are more appealing to cyber criminals because they collect financial and medical data, but all businesses that use networks can be targeted for customer data, corporate espionage, or customer attacks. With the scale of the cyber threat set to continue to rise, the International Data Corporation predicts that worldwide spending on cybersecurity solutions will reach a massive $133.7 billion by 2022. Governments across the globe have responded to the rising cyber threat with guidance to help organizations implement effective cybersecurity practices. In the US, the National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST, has created a cybersecurity framework. To combat the proliferation of malicious code and aid in early detection, the framework recommends continuous, real-time monitoring of all electronic resources. The importance of system monitoring is echoed in the 10 Steps to Cybersecurity, guidance provided by the UK government's National Cybersecurity Centre. In Australia, the Australian Cybersecurity Centre ACSC, regularly publishes guidance on how organisations can counter the latest cybersecurity threats.
Trojans, a type of malware that is disguised as legitimate software. Cyber criminals trick users into uploading Trojans onto their computer where they cause damage or collect data. Spyware, a program that secretly records what a user does so that cyber criminals can make use of this information. For example, spyware could capture credit card details. Ransomware, malware which locks down a user's files and data, with the threat of er erasing it unless a ransom is paid. Adware, advertising software which can be used to spread malware. Botnets, networks of malware-infected computers which cyber criminals use to perform tasks online without the user's permission. SQL injection. And SQL, Structured Language Query, Injection, is a type of cyber attack used to take control of and steal data from a database. Cyber criminals exploit vulnerabilities in data-driven applications to insert malicious code into a database via a malicious SQL statement. This gives them access to the sensitive information contained in the database. Phishing. Phishing is when cyber criminals target victims with emails that appear to be from a legitimate company asking for sensitive information. Phishing attacks are often used to dupe people into handing over credit card data and other personal information. Man in the middle attack. A man in the middle attack is a type of cyber threat where a cyber criminal intercepts communication between two individuals in order to steal data. For example, on an unsecure Wi-Fi network, an attacker could intercept data being passed from the victim's device and the network. Denial of service attack. A denial of service attack is where cyber criminals prevent a computer system from fulfilling legitimate requests by overwhelming the networks and servers with traffic. This renders the system unusable, preventing an organization from carrying out vital functions. Latest cyber threats. What are the latest cyber threats that individuals and organizations need to guard against? Here are some of the most recent cyber threats that the UK, US, and Australian governments have reported on. Drydex Malware In Decem December 2019, the US Department of Justice DOJ, charged the leader of an organized cyber criminal group for their part in a global Drydex malware attack. This malicious campaign affected the public, government, infrastructure and business worldwide. Drydex is a financial trojan with a range of capabilities. Affecting victims since 2014, it infects computers though phishing emails or existing malware. Capable of stealing passwords, banking details and personal data which can be used in fraudulent transactions, it has caused massive financial losses amounting to hundreds of millions. In response to the Drydex attacks, the U.K.'s National Cyber Security Center advises the public to ensure devices are patched, antivirus is turned on and up-to-date and files are backed up. Romance Scams In February 2020, the FBI warned U.S. citizens to be aware of confidence fraud that cyber criminals commit using dating sites, chat rooms and apps. Perpetrators take advantage of people seeking new partners, duping victims into giving away personal data. The FBI reports that romance cyber threats affected 114 victims in New Mexico in 2019, with financial losses amounting to $1.6 million. Amotet Malware In late 2019, the Australian Cyber Security Centre warned national organisations about a widespread global cyber threat from Amotet Malware. Emotet is a sophisticated trojan that can steal data and also load other malware. Emotet thrives on unsophisticated password, a reminder of the importance of creating a secure password to guard against cyber threats. End user protection. End user protection or endpoint security is a crucial aspect of cyber security. After all, it is often an individual, the end user, who accidentally uploads malware or another form of cyber threat to their desktop, laptop, or mobile device. So, so, how do cybersecurity measures protect end users and systems? First, cybersecurity relies on cryptographic protocols to encrypt emails, files, and other critical data. This not only protects information in transit, but also guards against loss or theft. In addition, end-user security software scans computers for pieces of malicious code, quarantines this code, and then removes it from the machine. 
Security programs can even detect and remove malicious code hidden in primary boot record and are designed to encrypt or wipe data from computer's hard drive. Electronic security protocols also focus on real-time malware detection. Many use heuristic and behavioral analysis to monitor the behavior of a program and its code to defend against viruses or trojans that change their shape with each execution, polymorphic and metamorphic malware. Security programs can confine potentially malicious programs to a virtual bubble separate from a user's network to analyze their behavior and learn how to better detect new infections. Security programs continue to evolve new defenses as cybersecurity professionals identify new threats and new ways to combat them. To make the most of end-user security software, employees need to be educated about how to use it. Crucially, keeping it running and updating it frequently ensures that it can protect users against the latest cyber threats. Cyber safety tips protect yourself against cyber attacks. How can businesses and individuals guard against cyber threats? Here are our top cyber safety tips. 1. Update your software and operating system. This means you benefit from the latest security patches. 2. Use antivirus software. Security solutions will detect and remove threats. Keep your software updated for the best level of protection. 3. Use strong passwords. Ensure your passwords are not easily guessable. 4. Do not open email attachments from unknown senders. These could be infected with malware. 5. Do not click on links in emails from unknown senders or unfamiliar websites. This is a common way that malware is spread. 6. Avoid using unsecure Wi-Fi networks in public places. Unsecure networks leave you vulnerable to man-in-the-middle attacks. Thank you for watching see you again for another interesting facts and amazing stories and also please like and subscribe.